leaders don't model that, then we can't expect other people in the congregation to do the same. And we are not, we are a microcosm of society, and there are people that will engage in negative behavior for the very same reasons that people outside of Unitarian Universalist congregations engage in negative behavior. The difference, though, is that we can address it with them, and, and we, can, we can call them back into covenant. And by the way, that's, that's something I'm not talking about today, the, the whole idea of covenant of right relations. How many of your congregations do have a covenant of right relations? A few of you. How many of you don't? You wanted one, but the board didn't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, uh, in, my, in my home congregation, we voted at a congregational meeting on a uh, covenant of right relations about two years ago. I don't particularly like it because, for one thing, I, can't, I don't remember it. But we voted on it. And one guy, one, one of the, one of the uh, elder statesmen, and I don't mean elders in the way that Connie defined it, he's been around a long time, grabbed the microphone and said, why do we need a covenant of right relations? What's going on in this congregation that no one is telling me? <laughs> he thought that you know, there were horrible things going on, so we had to develop this. A covenant of right relations is a proactive document. You create it for the future, and you call people into the promises that you've made. If you don't have one, it's a really good thing to develop. And if you need some help, contact me. Uh, I, I have business cards that I can give you. You can also go on the Surge website, cerguua.org, and get my email address. And I can, I can send you some stuff or talk with you about ways of creating a covenant of right relations. And I'll also talk a little bit about board covenants in just a couple of minutes. So it's, um, it's, it's addressing, it's naming the behavior, it's addressing it directly, it's taking that risk, but it's doing it in the name of the beloved community. And with a covenant that you've created, it makes it a lot easier to go to that person and say, you violated our covenant. I need to call you back to the promises that you made. 